thing about this video is that it's like a follow-up to the henna video because I used henna for six months and this is what happened you're gonna see a quick thumbnail you can go check it out hopefully it helps someone out there so just a quick recap I did not like the texture of my hair after using henna for six months so I did some things to repair it and I wanted to share the recipe with you so what have I been doing to repair my hair? I will do a video on the recipe that I do as well and I hope you stay tuned for that. However, let me show you what Ayurveda powders I've been using so far. Four. So these four powders I would... Alright, so the four main Ayurveda powders that I added to this recipe, they are Brahmi, Bringraj, Amla and Tulsi. Tulsi is also known as holy basil and I add a few other ingredients as well. So stay tuned for the recipe. In a bowl, you're going to add one tablespoon of amla powder. One tablespoon of brahmi. One tablespoon of bringraj and you're going to also add one teaspoon of moringa powder. Then to that you will add a half a cup of hot water, stir that up really well, you're going to mix it as smoothly as possible. Once it's all mixed up, you're going to cover it with a saran wrap and leave it overnight. Alright y'all, so this is the mixture that I had overnight. Now I'm going to strain this with my stocking pantyhose yeah mm -hmm. so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have a cup here all right so i have so i have my pantyhose stocking here in a cup everything in there If you'd like to reduce the amount of powders in your hair, you can strain it and this is what it would look like. Next, we'll add some aloe vera juice. Now, if you do not know, but I make my own aloe vera juice on my channel and there's even a video that you can check out and here it is. Just search for Ife 360 TV aloe vera juice. Next, I'll strain the aloe vera juice with a cheesecloth. Now, you want to make sure to do this step because aloe vera, it leaves like a fine um, particles and gel, gel particles in your hair if you do not strain. So please, if you're making fresh aloe vera juice, please strain it with a cheesecloth. Time to add it to our hair. I put it in a bottle. I put a hole at the top of the cover so that I could easily apply it to my hair. I didn't have an applicator bottle so I made do with what I had and now it's time to apply it to my hair. Now you don't you can apply it to dry hair as I did because it already has liquid in the mixture but it's up to you. You can add it to damp hair as well. So once I start applying I apply it to my roots and then along the strands of my hair so that it completely covers all of my hair so this is what it looks like after I've applied it it's a really good detangler too like any tangles you have they pretty much melt away I don't know if you can hear me because there's no way. Next, I wrapped my hair with saran wrap because I just wanted to intensify the treatment and I left this on for one hour. I rinsed it out and conditioning at this point is up to you. So this is my hair after using the Ayurvedic treatment. Two months of weekly treatments to repair my hair. Now y'all, you can condition afterwards. You can shampoo, you can cleanse. It's really up to you. And I want to know from you, what else would you add to your treatment to repair your hair if you, it was damaged in some way?